How's it going everybody? So there will be a patch on August 13, one week after we've gotten the huge update and I've called this patch a band-aid patch in the previous video. Because this is barely a hotfix as it, at least in my opinion, doesn't really fix any of the major issues that came with the core combat update. Obviously opinions differ when it comes to what these issues are as we already see light spam complaints running rampant. You know, the indicator change that came exactly like we thought it would. So complaining about that one seems kinda pointless. I've gone over the problems before so I'm not going to repeat myself as I already feel I do quite a lot recently. The patch notes for this one have been posted already so everyone can read up for themselves. The fact that it's within one week made some people excited for quicker patches now, but let's not kid ourselves, that really doesn't mean this would be standard now. This is just a reaction to the massive complaints we've seen the last few days. And when looking at some of the fixes, it just points at how half-baked the initial patch was. The amount of out of lock values that needed to be fixed is insane. How can 12 values be wrong? How can that many slip through? And this wasn't the first time that characters that received changes somehow retained their old attack values or even attack properties when not in lock. For how long now has unlocking messed with this game? I do not understand how there is not a fixed testing procedure. Isn't there a list somewhere that the Q&A personnel can work through? How does this happen over and over again? The same thing goes for dodging out of Highlanders as well as PK's light, light chain. Wasn't this one of the changes that was supposed to happen with this update? This was one of the things discussed during the testing rounds. To make this consistent among all light chains. It didn't even require different fixes was literally just an increase in the time between these attacks. And then the Orochi unblockable. Well fair enough, it wasn't the change anyone expected. But this isn't the first time a character gets a top unblockable. Yet, the same thing goes here. It's also not the first time that we had a supposed mix-up be back dodgeable. How can this happen repeatedly? It sounds so mean when I say this, but are you not playing your own game? How is it not a criteria when you implement a new move? Implementing an unblockable has a purpose, right? You want to force a reaction, be that a parry, a dodge, or whatever. How do you not go through the possible options to identify whether there's one that covers all scenarios? Because this can't be intended. Yeah, it's going to be fixed now. But the problem here is that it had to be pointed out by us before anything happens. And the same goes for the stamina cost of guaranteed chain attacks. The double and triple lights cost an insane amounts of stamina. This doesn't even require testing. This could have been avoided by simply reading. The design choice to increase light stamina cost is a sound one, I give you that. The possibility of this fixing problems that people created in their heads was there, definitely. Lights costing the same as heavies is quite a big leap though. I don't want to go over it again, I already said we should have tried smaller increments first. But as you can see, even with the insane cost for lights, we have people complain about light spam. Because people will always complain about light spam, or bash spam, or heavy spam, which was mentioned like a dozen times in my comments since the update. But now for the biggest change that won't do anything. The damage value changes. Out of all of these, there is exactly one that I think is a good change. And that's the Centurion fully charged combo heavy being reduced from 40 to 30. That is actually an almost sensible value for that type of attack. All the others, one damage here, two damage there, what's the fucking point? Or oh, Highlander now only does 35 instead of 37 on his dodge attack. Yeah, that'll fix him. I've never explicitly spelled this out in any video, at least I don't remember that I did because it always made sense in my head why faster attacks had to go hand in hand with an overall reduction of damage. You couldn't do one or the other without the game feeling weird, so the fact that it didn't happen confuses me even more. The game's attacks becoming faster means that we're moving away from a reaction based game to a more read based game. To be able to make reads, fights need to have a certain length. The longer you fight someone, the more time you have to recognize patterns and maybe even condition someone. This is extremely important to make actual informed reads and not just blindly guess. But having to make reads automatically opens you up to making more mistakes. It's no longer a simple or I reacted too slowly, now it's a, oh, I thought that would be a different move. But to be allowed to make more mistakes, one of them can't mean that you lose half your HP or even more. 
One single mistake shouldn't decide the outcome of a fight. This goes against the very concept of what this update was supposed to bring to the table. Or maybe I'm completely mistaken here, but this was what made sense in my head. To actually have replays combat, fights can't be decided too quickly. Just think about this. The reward for a light parry went up. Parrying a 9 damage light can lead to 35 plus damage in return. A new Nusha out of stamina punish was discovered that does 91 damage. This just shows that only one change being implemented makes the game feel bad. I don't think anyone enjoys being punished for so much just for making a single mistake. Take this clip here of me fighting for Ron. The clown tier 1 feeds do their thing. Then, without a doubt, it's my fault for not looking at my stamina. This is completely on me. One parry and the teammate swings this fight massively. My HP gets absolutely deleted. And that's the sad reality here. These high damage and combo heavies only land on out of stamina punishes and in ganks. The intention was for players to go into chain offense and be rewarded with that high damage. But the truth is, most of the time, it's just when the moves are actually confirmed that they do land. Which is the fundamental flaw that does not get addressed with this patch. At this point, I can't tell anymore if Ubisoft just hasn't identified this as a flaw, or if this is how they intended for things to work out. I think that the high damage is actually detrimental to what the core combat update was supposed to bring to the game. But correct me if you think I'm wrong here. But alright, we'll see what the future holds. The hotfix will be out, now it's time to actually address what's been messed up. It's not fundamentals that need to be changed. It's literally just numbers being too high. Way too high. Now, I was asked to give a shout out. Unabound Gaming League is hosting some tournaments. Every time I mention competitive play, people in the comments ask me where to watch. So, right in your calendars, Xbox tournament is on August 22nd and the PC tournaments are on August 29th. Xbox is just an A and the two PC tournaments are split into EU and an A. Price pools are 500 for Xbox and 250 each for both PC regions. Whether you want to participate or just watch is up to you. Link to the Discord will be in the video description. Having said all that, I hope the video was interesting. Thanks for watching. Latest everybody.